explorers and welcome to another video. Today it's Advent of Code! It's that time of year again and I really want to see your solutions so leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to support the channel there is a link in the description to different affiliates where you can get great deals on things and there is also a donation link if you want to donate a coffee to me in order to improve the quality of the channel. Day 2. Red Nosed Reports. Unfortunately, the first location of the historians wants to search isn't a long a walk of, of the chief's historian's office. While the Red Nosed Reindeer Nuclear Fusion Fission Plant appears to be <laughs> so to contain no sign of the chief um, historian, the uh, uh, engineers there run up to you as soon as they see you. Apparently there are still talk about the time Rudolph was saved through new, uh, <laughs> monocular synthesis from a single electron. Uh, they're uh, quick to add that since you are already here, they really appreciate if you help analyzing some unusual data from the Red Nodes reactor. You turn to check if the historians are waiting for you, but they seem to have already divided into groups and that are currently searching every corner of the facility. You offer to help the, uh, with the unusual data. The unusual data, your postal input, consists of many reports, one report per line. Each report is a list of numbers called levels, separated by spaces. For example, this example data contains six reports containing five levels. The engineer are trying to figure out which reports are safe. The, the red-nosed reactor safety system can only tolerate levels that are either gradually increasing or gradually decreasing. So a report only counts as safe if both of the following are true. All the levels are either increasing or all decreasing. Any two adjacent levels differ by at least one and at most three. Uh, in the example above, the reports can be found to be safe and unsafe by checking those rules. Uh, safe because levels are decreasing by one or two. Uh, unsafe because two seven is increasing by five. Unsafe because 6.2 is decreasing by 4. Um, unsafe because 1.3 is decreasing by... Um, decreasing, yes. Unsafe because 4.4 four is neither increasing or decreasing. Safe because all levels are increasing by either 1, 2 or 3. So they must increase or decrease and they can only be... Uh, re decreased at most by three. So two of the reports are safe. How many of the reports are safe in the real data? So I've already copied over the test and uh, other files. So let's go for this uh, string line lines. So we should be able to check number of safe here. Um, line, we split that up by space. Then we should get string round of numb string. And then uh, for mm -mm -mm, each string numb, a numb string. We will first get the number, which is uh, integer parse int num, and then we have int current num, and we set that to minus one. I wonder if the real data has any numbers that are 
below zero. Let's see here if we can use minus one as a number. Yeah, at a small glance, it seems that we are able to use the minus one as a number. If current number is minus, uh, not minus one, um, then current number equals number like that and we continue so the first thing we do is we set the current number to number um, if we don't have any number already then we also want uh, an int checking if uh, increasing or decreasing and we set that to zero so if mm, current number is larger than the number then we increase else if uh, the other way around like that else we break because then it's not a, a safe number mm. you can have uh, boolean safe true so this should be safe equals to false and down here Let's see. Can have number of safe. What? Like that. So number of safe should be equals to safe one zero. So we add a, an extra safe row here if we find it. And last but not least, here we can take the number of safe and just print those out um, so if ink equal to zero here then we will set ink to uh, one if ink is larger than one Let's see here. We are decreasing here. So we actually want to have minus one. So if increase is less than one, then we are continuing to uh, increasing. Mm. And here we want to check if current number minus number and then we can do a math absolute so we know that we get a correct number if that is more than three then we will say safe false and break otherwise current number is equal to number so there we go mm. and we will do the same up here mm. I think we can we can actually do like this so if we want to decrease but we are increasing then we will do this safe break here as well so we do an early um, check here and then we need to pretty much copy everything over to the next side here and turn it around so one Still less than three to be the safe number. 
Mm. So I wonder if we run this, what do we get? We get three safe lines and two should be safe. So we need to debug this. If current number is equal to, well, so that's a problem we already had here. Then we just want to set that. So stop and rerun. What do we, do we get? Then we get two. So now we have the right number here, but I think we still should debug this just to see that we're doing right. So first we have seven and we uh, realize that the first number we set there and then we get six. So we check here, this is true, the number is uh, lower. And then we realize that we don't have a number, so we say that we go down and we check that. So this is increasing correctly. So this should be true. So we said safe, false. Yeah. So it seems to be pretty good. Let's try to see the other result then. Mm, there we go, 269. How many rows do we have? Is that even feasible? 269. Yeah, it seems pretty feasible. Yes, you get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. We solved the first one. It wasn't that hard. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the engineers are surprised by the low number of safe reports until they realized they forgot to tell you about the problem dampener. The problem dampener is a reactor mounted module that lets the reactor safely system tolerate a single bad level uh, that would be otherwise be a safe report. It's like a bad level never happened. Now the same rules apply as before except if you're removing a single level from an unsafe report uh, would make it safe. The report instead counts as safe. More of the above example. So safe without removing a label. Unsafe regardless which level are removed. Uh, okay. Unsafe regardless which level are removed. Safe by removing second level. Okay. Because three is not a safe level. Yeah. Uh, safe by removing the third level. Four. Okay. Safe by removing any level. Um, safe without removing any level. So the, with the dampener, four results are safe. Okay, so we want to remove one number, which means that we need to check one number more. And we are back and we have a new number now. And the new number is between the numbers I was looking at before. So I think I had numbers between 130 something. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 132 to 180. Uh, so um, 382, 380, 387 is larger. So hopefully this is correct. Let's try it out. And see if I have gotten it right this time. Yes, you get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. So we actually solved it this time. Um, so we completed day two. And let's look at what we did. So first off, I did a totally different uh, try for, for this. We had first this really strange uh, implementation and I realized that I had to do a lot of debugging on this implementation so my sec my other try of this for day B was to change everything over to numbers and then see which direction things goes and um, by adding increasing and decreasing and then I t took the right direction and then I went through and checked the bridging numbers so I was shaking First the, the first bridge between two numbers and then I jumped one step and checked if the, um, the other number, the other one around. So if we looked at number one and two and then we could look at number th 
one and three and see if we got it, something there and we, then we could jump over a number and so on. But there was a lot of edge cases and I never got this really to work. So, <laughs> my second attempt was extremely just brute force it, as I usually do. So, in this case, we took the functionality we had in our previous day, one, uh, day two A and I just put that into a function. So this is exactly the same implementation that I had for uh, the first uh, thing here. The only thing that I changed is that I send in a list of uh, numbered strings and then I return a boolean if it's safe. So the only thing I needed to do then when I had this check function is to handle everything around it. So we take the lines in, we go through each line, we create a line number string here, and then I create a list and I add all those strings to that list. And then I check that. And if it's not safe, so if we end up with checking the normal sequence and it's not safe, then we need to, re to remove a number, right? So then I just did this for loop where I created a new list put everything into this new list, and then remove the number. Checked if that was safe, and if it was safe, I break. Otherwise, I try the next number and put that into a list. Uh, and I do that for all the numbers in this first uh, array list that I had of numbered strings. And then I just add to that and print it out. So this was the only difference I did in order to get this new number. I put it into the function and then brute force through and just removed one number and saw if it worked with that number removed. So this was today's video. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you liked this video. Give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I'm really curious about your solution. So please leave those in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.